डियर स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू नेक्स्ट कोर्स ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इकोनॉमिक्स इकॉन थ्री सिक्स फाइव क्रेडिट आर वन प्लस वन एंड कोर्स टाइटल इज फार्म मैनेजमेंट प्रोडक्शन एंड रिसोर्स इकोनॉमिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी हैव टू डिस्कस द थेरोटिकल सिलेबस ऑफ दिस कोर्स प्रैक्टिकल सिलेबस ऑफ दिस कोर्स एंड रेफरेंस बुक्स वी हैव टू यूज टू स्टडी दिस कोर्स सो the syllabus of this course theoretical syllabus of this course is divided in three parts first part is about the farm management second part is about the production economics and third part is about the resource economics so we will see the syllabus of this course in a first part of farm management first topic is about what is mean by farm management definition scope objective and relation of farm management with other sciences then next topic is about the what is mean by farm or single unit what is mean by farm definition types of farm which are the different characteristics of farm or which factors determines the size of farms then next topic is about the different economic principles applied in the farm management so principle of variable proportions is there then determination of optimum input and optimum output then minimum loss principle that is cost principle then principle of factor substitution principle of product substitution is there law of equimarginal returns and opportunity cost principle then principle of comparative advantage and the comparison principle these are the different economic principles we have to study in this course then next is types of farming types of farming as specialized farming diversified farming mixed farming dry farming and ranching these are the different types of farming we have to study about this different types then which factors influencing the types of farming so there is a difference in a types of farming and systems of farming okay next is types of farm business organization types of farm business organization means systems of farming in that we have to see the peasant farming cooperative farming capitalistic farming collective farming and state farming these are the systems of farming there is difference in types and systems okay we will study in detail about the systems and types of the farming okay then next is meaning and concept of cost which are the cost concepts applied in the farm management then farm income measures gross income farm business income is there label family labor income is there net farm income and farm investment income is there then next topic is about the farm business analysis so we have to do for every business we have to do the business analysis similarly we have to here we have to see about the farm business analysis meaning and concept of farm income profitability technical and economical efficiency measures of farm management then next is what is farm records and accounts then what is importance of farm records and accounts and which are the different types of farm records needed to maintain on the farm then next topic is about the farm inventory next topic is about the farm inventory which are the methods of valuation of farm inventory then net selling price cost less depreciation market price cost method replacement cost less depreciation and income capitalization method these are the methods of valuation of farm inventory okay next but most important part of farm management is what is mean by balance sheet or what is balance sheet or net worth statement which are the assets which are the liabilities and net worth ratio measures okay next is income statement or the profit loss statement income statement or profit and loss statement which are the receipts expenses and net income ratio measures so this part is about the farm management then next part in a farm management is what is farm planning 
मीनिंग ऑफ फार्म प्लानिंग नीड ऑफ फार्म प्लानिंग टाइप्स ऑफ फार्म प्लान देन विच आर द टाइप्स दीज आर द सिंपल फार्म प्लान होल फार्म प्लान एंड विच आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ गुड फार्म प्लान एंड बेसिक स्टेप्स इन फार्म प्लानिंग देन नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज फार्म बजेटिंग वॉट इज फार्म बजेटिंग मीनिंग टाइप्स ऑफ फार्म बजेट्स एंटरप्राइज बजेटिंग पार्शियल बजेटिंग और कंप्लीट फार्म बजेटिंग देन नेक्स्ट पार्ट इज फ्रॉम द लिनियर प्रोग्रामिंग वॉट इज मीन बाय लिनियर प्रोग्रामिंग विच आर द डिफरेंट अजम्पन्स ऑफ लिनियर प्रोग्रामिंग एंड विच आर द एडवांटेजेस एंड लिमिटेशन ऑफ लिनियर प्रोग्रामिंग इन फार्म मैनेजमेंट देन नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज अबाउट द रिस्क एंड अनसर्टेंटी इन एग्रीकल्चर एज वी नो एग्रीकल्चर इज अ रिस्की बिजनेस सो विच आर द डिफरेंट रिस्क एंड अनसर्टेंटीज इन एग्रीकल्चर वॉट इज नेचर सोर्सेस ऑफ रिस्क दैट इज प्रोडक्शन टेक्निकल रिस्क प्राइस और मार्केटिंग रिस्क इज देयर फाइनेंशियल रिस्क इज देयर एंड मेथड्स ऑफ रिड्यूसिंग रिस्क विच आर द मेथड्स टू रिड्यूस द फार्म रिस्क ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द फार्म मैनेजमेंट ऑल दिज part all these topics are in the part of the farm management then next part of syllabus is production economics okay in that we have to first topic is what is agricultural production economics definition of agricultural production economics nature scope and subject matter of agricultural production economics objective of production economics and basic production economics problems okay then laws of returns that is law of increasing return law of constant return and law of decreasing return then factor product relationship product function and its types elasticity of production and most important three stages of production function what is mean by production function and three stages of production function okay next factor factor relationship isocont which are the different characteristics of isocont what is mrts marginal rate of technical substitution types of factor substitution is there then next is what is isocost lines different characteristics of isocost line then methods of determining least cost combination of resources what is expansion path which are the isoclines and the ridge lines okay iso cost line iso clients and ridge lines then next topic is product product relationship what is product product relationship what is production possibility curve marginal rate of product substitution types of enterprise relationship is there that is joint products complementary products supplementary products competitive and antagonistic products okay next topic is what is iso revenue line what are the characteristics of iso revenue line then methods of determining optimum combination of products then expansion path ridge line okay next topic is about resource productivity then returns to scale next topic returns to scale so this is all syllabus is about syllabus of production economics means these are the topics we have to study in a part of the production economics now last part of this course is resource economics okay firstly we have to see what is mean by resource economics definition subject matter and scope of resource economics and what is difference between natural resource economics and agricultural economics okay next natural resources classification characteristics of nat natural resources which are the resource depletion and causes of the resource depletion okay then we have to see the externalities in agriculture which are the positive externalities and the negative externalities in agriculture then inefficiency and welfare losses and which are the solution to overcome these welfare losses and last is which are the different issues in economics and management of common property resources of land water pasture forest resources etc 
so this is all about the theoretical syllabus of farm management production economics and the resource economics okay now we will see the practical syllabus for this course of econ 365 first practical is about the basic concepts and terms then second determination of optimum input output and least cost combination of inputs third determination of profitable combination of products and application of principle of equimarginal returns in agriculture then third is about seven types of cost and their computation which are the seven types of cost in farm management and how to comp compute or how to evaluate these costs okay or how to calculate these seven costs then farm cost concept their imputation procedure then next the exercise is about the depreciation method which are the different depreciation methods used in agriculture and allied sectors then farm holding survey then livestock farm survey is there next exercise is about estimation of cost of cultivation most important exercise of this course is estimation of cost of cultivation farm income measures of major crops so in the in the exercise of cost of cultivation we have to study about the different cost concepts and how to calculate the cost of cultivation cost of production what is bc ratio how to calculate the interest on fixed capital interest on uh, variable capital okay then which are the farm in next exercise is about the farm inventory analysis farm financial analysis there are different ratios preparation and al preparation and analysis of balance sheet how to prepare the balance sheet which which uh, particulars we have to take on right side which, which on the left side we have to study in this uh, exercise of balance sheet next preparation and analysis of profit and loss statement then preparation of farm plans preparation of farm plan preparation of enterprise budget and partial budget okay then last exercise is about the study of farm management aspects related to agricultural college farm so these are the some practical we have to see in that most important is depreciation methods cost of cultivation farm financial analysis preparation of farm plans these are the four practically important exercises are included in the syllabus of econ 365 so for this course you can refer the books first book is economics of farm production and management by vt raju and dvs rao it is very important book for this course next book is fundamentals of farm business management by zolan kapoor so dear student attend all the lectures or listen very like all the lectures very carefully because this time your examination will be offline examination okay so attend all the classes thank you